Hey everyone, it's Ivan, Keepadster.com, out here for another gear review, and today I'm talking about these right here, these training guns by Unit Solutions. Broad strokes, what are these? Huh? They are training guns. They're offered in two different lengths, this being a 14.5. They also have a 10 and a half inch, and then they have kind of like your old school with the actual like carrying handle built in. And yeah, kind of think UTM SIM guns. They have both marking as well as non-marking rounds. And yeah, they allow you to go out and train, whether it be force on force or other situations where maybe you can't or don't want to be doing live fire. And so with that, magazines, go over these more in a minute, like how they work, stuff like that. And altogether, a like turnkey AR that you can do stuff with. As far as all your attachments, you actually have 1913 rail, you have two spec M lock, all that. Parts and components made, I believe, largely by Lewis Machine and Tool, like a real gun manufacturer, but these are not guns. They're not firearms, so you don't have to deal with ATF, NFA, any of that other stuff. Turnkey training guns. Real quick, we'll go over the magazines, kind of how they work. On the back here, you have this lever, you have this lever, and it folds down, and it basically kind of cantilevers, take this piece out, hooks in there, and when that's out, you can pull this out. This one being spent, this one right here not being spent. You can see right here, these are the non-marking rounds. They're basically biodegradable, kind of like little plastic balls. I think kind of airsoft. I think they're like eight millimeter, maybe. And then the marking ones are a paint version of that. And so these go in, the rounded sides of this are cut away on the inside of this magazine here. So it can kind of only go in one way and it will slide in like that. And this little safety tab right there take that off and then this comes up this hinges over grabs on right there and once that's hinged you just boom now we're good that basically punctured the co2 cartridge which is responsible for powering this thing we now have a loaded charged 30 round magazine obviously that entire like manual of arms is not something that you would do during training you basically take all your mags, get them set up beforehand, and get them loaded out into your gear so that you could proceed with whatever training you're going to do. Controls, everything like that, just like a standard rifle. I will seat the mag, seat the mag till it clicks, make sure it's seated, and charging handle, run that. It is now charged. There is a dust cover. Mag release works the same. Safety, bolt catch, bolt release, all that stuff. These, I will say, which is kind of fun, especially for my boys, you can go on a semi or you can go all the way to full. And with them, not a lot of sound and like not really any recoil. I say that, like it does move and you do have a little bit of recoil, but it's more just kind of, I don't know, not a lot of recoil. The other part too is, while there is that impulse, it will lock back on empty mag, which is cool. And you can actually basically take a empty mag and work through essentially one reload, one drills, which is pretty handy. I will say that empty mag, it's using the CO2 that's in there and it's already expended everything to shoot all 30 rounds out of the magazine. So there is a timeline where eventually it's not going to lock the bolt back, but it does give you that impulse and you do feel it back or lock back. And of course, full auto. Because it's so much fun. And there's probably some training value there. I don't know. But that's basically how you end up using these things and gassing them up. They're pretty fun. Which now brings us to what has been my experience with them, and where do I see them as kind of providing the most value? Well, we'll speak with my experience first. I will say they come with essentially folding iron sights. I took them off the front, 
set mine up with lights as well as red dots in part because for me using them with my boys and red dots like kind of what guns don't have red dots these days and it's just easier especially depending on the shooting you're gonna do and yeah ended up doing some training with my boys in the shoot house and one place i think these definitely provide value is basically stair stepping proficiency and even if you can have live fire in like a live fire shoot house maybe you don't want to jump in straight away with people to include younger people that maybe don't have as many hours and as many reps shooting guns so you have something that is non-lethal granted don't want to get shot in the face or especially the eye gonna wear eye pro with this stuff but again non-lethal so i can actually work my boys doing cqb basically going through clearing a shoot house and again we're able to work on things and in a very safe controlled environment as well not live fire and then being able to stair step from there to actually do some force on force which was a lot of fun actually to do with my boys slow down if you need to look for threats watch your muzzle jenna Shot that guy. Did he try and grab a gun? Yep. Well, then he deserved to be shot. All right. You okay, Dad? The other place this can honestly provide value is a new shooter. You don't even have to be at like a range to go shoot this. Again, not firing a projectile. We don't need, well, you probably want a backstop. I don't know if I would shoot these rounds in my house, make a bullet trap or something like that, shoot them in the backyard, garage, something like that. But you can shoot this thing not at the range. And your entire manual of arms transfers over. Don't have loud concussive blast, don't need ear pro, just eye pro. And yeah, I think there can be value there too. What about accuracy with these? Well, they're not the most accurate especially at distance i mean you're basically shooting a ball pretty sure these are not rifled barrels but i ended up going out shooting both the marking rounds as well as the non-marking rounds cardboard ipsic at like 25 yards so here's me shooting through those and sometimes start to curve off. It is what it is. Like That's the accuracy I was getting out of these guns. Does it matter? Again, not doing precision stuff, largely inside a house where probably the furthest distance you're gonna have is around 25 yards, in which case, pretty doable. Like you're probably gonna be on the person. As far as, because someone will ask, what about these versus like UTM, for example? I think there's definitely some, some big benefits to both of those. I will speak first to these right here by Unit Solutions. One, availability. Getting UTM, whether it's the like bolts or for that matter, even just the UTM ammo can be really difficult and that stuff is really expensive. Cost-wise, stuff's about a buck a round, whereas this, this training ammo, it's like 30 cents a round. That, if you're gonna do a couple shoot house runs with like two magazines, not a big deal. 
if you have an entire department or something like that doing force on force or running a schoolhouse like that's a massive increase in price way more affordable with this the other thing that i do think is a value is just yeah the cost getting into it i just spoke to the ammo as far as the guns guns are about a thousand bucks and then you're buying ammo but you have like dedicated training guns this can potentially cut both ways so with utm for example swapping out bolts it's pretty nice because you're using your gun your op like everything already configured the way you are going to do that so is there a value there yeah is it a dollar around versus 30 cents around value i'm not sure it really depends but where i think these can be of serious value is especially with a department or something like that where hey like chances are your patrol gun has a light on it has a red dot on it cool we throw a budget red dot on here we throw a light on here we're good to go or for that matter your aggressors whoever is going to be op for attacking the good guys cool turnkey guns like easy and inexpensive ammo and of course the other place is well what i spoke to with respect to my boys and stuff just having again like i don't need a special setup gun for them to go through and work fundamentals and honestly most people don't either at a very very high level yeah there's a lot of value to having your gun with like a utm bolt in your like five thousand dollars worth of accessories on there rather than transferring them over can you use this stuff under nods just like you could another gun yeah you absolutely can i mean given whatever optic and stuff you have on there but no overall i think there's a lot of value again depending on where you are in that training space Cost-wise on these, as I mentioned, looking at about a grand. I want to say maybe eleven hundred for the rifle and one of the magazines. Magazines cost about ninety bucks, and your marking rounds about one hundred and eighty bucks. I want to say for essentially a pack of twenty of those CO2 cartridge setups, so six hundred rounds. Again, coming out to like thirty cents a round. Overall, who do I think this is good for? honestly people in a training capacity whether it is instructors or some sort of training cadre for like departments things along those lines or if you want to get into it because you and maybe your group likes to go out and do training this is a great way of stair-stepping think small unit tactics into live fire lower consequences much lower non-lethal so being able to go out and get good reps and maybe maybe get training where you're not going to be able to shoot live fire to include in structures where eh, you probably break some glassware with these but again not going to punch holes through walls so pretty good value across the board depending on what you're looking for and last but not least if you appreciate my content and want to support it i greatly appreciate it whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to teespring picking up some of my shirts things like that or supporting me directly through patreon all that stuff helps me go out and create more content for you but as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time